It's so important that you understand the bigger picture about low iron, having an iron deficiency, having anemia. It's not just about fatigue and hair falling out and sleeping. There are so many other issues. And over the last five videos, yes, I've done five videos on how to build up your iron. And I am absolutely convinced this will help absolutely everybody. And it's not just about having iron, extra iron in your meals. It's about setting up the gut and setting up the body and setting up the hormones in the body to be able to use all of the iron in the body in the right place at the right time. So make sure you watch those five videos on my YouTube. So there's six in total. This is the sixth and final. And it's about understanding iron because people had got back to me and said, but nobody told me that it may be linked with heart disease or uh, even a heart attack. One young girl got back to me and I said, yes, it is. Or increased infections or the other aspect why you need to understand this is because it's a motivator to do something right now. Go back, watch those videos, get those supplements. I'm not selling you a single product, just giving you free information. And share this with every person you know. 50% of women have low iron. If your level of ferritin, and that's the only indicator I'll talk about here, but ferritin isn't above 50, then you've got low iron, you need to do something about it. And I know there are circumstances that may lead to having low iron. I've covered those in the other videos. Watch the other videos. And when it comes to it, most people don't realize that iron is involved in over 80 different enzymes. And enzymes, are uh, the molecules or the biochemistry that do all of the action, the working in the body. They convert A to B to C to D. And everything in our body runs on enzymes and iron is involved with, it, with them. So as a result, if you have an iron deficiency, these enzymes are working properly and it can have huge ramifications throughout the body. I'm just touching on maybe nine or 10 of the most important things that I think are critical for you to understand. And the first one you all know about hemoglobin formation. And that hemoglobin formation, the red blood cells in there, enables you to carry oxygen to get to the cells, to go into the mitochondria, to convert that oxygen in along with the carbohydrates into energy. So we need that. And that's one of the reasons why, of course, poor oxygen transport in the hemoglobin leads to low energy, the fatigue, but only one. There's a, probably a dozen reasons why low iron influences your energy levels, and you'll see some of those now. Myoglobin, the muscles, it's in muscles, and again, it's critical for the generation of energy in the muscles, which is one of the reasons, one of the reasons why your temperature control goes out a little, because your muscles generate a lot of heat in there and keep you warm in those colder times. You've got energy production in the mitochondria. Everything runs on mitochondria. It's not just the powerhouse of the cell, it's the coordinator of all the energy metabolism throughout the body. And so when you have a mitochondrial dysfunction, in fact, mitochondrial dysfunction is now the driving force, known to be the driving force behind cancer. Forget that genetic stuff, that's old school genetic. It's mitochondrial dysfunction for heart attacks and strokes, mitochondrial dysfunction for all of the chronic illnesses, mitochondria dysfunction. So we wanna keep our mitochondria working properly and iron is critical in the conversion in the mitochondria of A to ATP, which is the energy that we use in our body. It gives us the energy. So it keeps the mitochondria working, the energy and the energy for us. Then you've got your neurotransmitters and these are the chemicals that send messages along your nervous system to keep you in check and in balance and happy and active and motivated. And you've got things like dopamine, someone like dopamine, which is your feel good, your motivational. That's the one that gets you up, driving in a happier mood, going, excited serotonin, keeps you in balance and happy. And those two, of course, are really good. Then you've got norepinephrine, which is your activation neurotransmitter. So these three are the ones that really keep you going uh, throughout the day. So you want to make sure they're balanced and iron is critical in their formation. Immune support. If you have low iron, you have an increased risk of infections, slow wound healing, 
And that's because lots of functions within your immune system actually work on iron. Liver detox, everyone's talking about detoxing the liver and the way, main way that it happens in the body is you've got something called the cytochrome P450, this little number here, P450, and that's one that breaks down all of the, or many of the toxins in the body. The hormones, once you've used your hormones, it goes there and gets broken down and recycled through the system. Uh, once you use uh, uh, drugs and toxins, they're all broken down in the liver and it's the cytochrome P450, this one that breaks it down, and that runs on iron. Iron is critical for that. So to do that healthy detox, you want to make sure you've got the right amount of iron for the P450 to work to do the detox. Then you've got DNA synthesis and replication, and that's going on constantly with the multiplication of your cells as you're growing and the replacement of your cells, replacement of your DNA, including your mitochondria DNA. You probably haven't heard that one, but your mitochondria DNA, and that all runs on iron as well. And then hormone metabolism, which can have a huge impact on energy levels. And you've got things like your thyroid hormone, particularly T3 and T4, and vitamin D. Now, I've mentioned, mentioned vitamin D quite a few times in my other videos, how, how vitamin D, you cannot form vitamin D, the active form of D3, in your body, in your liver, unless you have iron. So you need iron for the vitamin D production and you need vitamin D because that really is an important molecule in all of these other processes as well. And in, in addition, you've got your steroid hormones, uh, cortisol, aldosterone. Oh, aldosterone is the one that keeps your blood pressure in balance. That's the best way to think about that. Uh, and, and so low iron, you can increase your blood pressure, which you'll see in a minute. And then you've got your estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, all very critical on how we feel their motivation and drive for both men and women. And they all need, require iron in the production formation of them. And then finally in this insulin, which is the hormone that helps balance the blood sugar levels and melatonin, which is the sleep neurotransmitter hormone produced primarily in the pineal gland at night, but also in lots of your cells, all of your cells, all your metabolic cells that are, that are producing melatonin. And I've got some lots of really good videos on melatonin. It's so important for your health and you can supplement with it. So with all of those issues, you then end up with a, a, a dramatic increase in the risk of chronic illness. You've got low iron, chronic illness. Now, of course, I've already said, watch the other videos. Make sure you tick the boxes here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. All of this information is there and anything new that comes to light, I'll put it up there. It is the most comprehensive iron program, how to build the iron in your blood, literally, that is around and available. It's a summary of probably about 500 different studies. It's taken a long time to compile all that and I've already done it in all of the videos along with this one. So increasing chronic disease, and you don't want this chronic, uh, cardiovascular disease, heart failure, blood pressure, and arterial damage as a result of it. Chronic kidney disease, rheumatoid arthritis, chronic infection. Now, low iron, as I've already said, influences your immune system. A compromised immune system means you, that you have infection after infection. So if you're getting that, maybe you've got low iron, or your iron is out of balance, that I talked about in the other videos as well irritable bowel or inflammatory bowel disease which is uh, an inflammation of the gut and as a result you end up with leaky gut and gut dysbiosis which are all linked together and lots of videos on that. Uh, respiratory disorders things like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cognitive decline because it affects the neurotransmitters not just the neurotransmitters but the neurodevelopment the protection and the repair of the nerves and the nervous system so um, an increase in cognitive decline restless leg syndrome and that's not just when you're sitting down moving your leg this is a, a, a serious condition that's linked with lots of other forms of chronic illness and the main drivers tend to be vitamin d deficiency and yes you guessed it iron deficiency now those two go hand in hand remember and i've, I've covered that in the other videos as well uh, neurodevelopment particularly of the infants and young. So it's really important. Uh, girls, ladies, if you're thinking about having a family, having a, a baby, make sure you've got your iron levels up plenty high and make sure you do it the, the way that I've described, the program that I've described.
and then pregnancy complications, everything from miscarriages to changes in, in the birth weight and so on. And then finally, iron is involved in collagen production and as a result, skin, bones and connective tissue. And it has a multiplier effect with vitamin C. In the other videos, I talk about the importance of vitamin C. Now, if you haven't watched the other videos, just go and get some vitamin C straight away now and make sure you up the dosage for vitamin C, then watch the other videos and get the other things you need. At the end of this video, you've now got a, a full picture of all of the, well, at least most of the major conditions and symptoms associated with low iron. If you've got any of these, it's time to take action now, watch the other videos and build this into your program. Share this with your friend, tick the boxes, and I look forward to you watching the other videos.